Hey there friends and enemies, Joe Perites here once again and today I have a brand new Marvel's Avengers video for you. This is showing off the Omega level threat that is coming next week to the game. Now, if you're an Avengers fan and you've still been playing the game after this time, or if you're a player who took a break and is looking to come back ahead of War for Wakanda, this has me absolutely excited because I feel like Avengers has really hit its stride lately and is going to be the game everyone hoped for and wanted and really enjoys once War for Wakanda hits in full. And it'll be incredible value for what it is. Now, uh, Marvel's Avengers had its issues at launch, but as a game, I loved it still. Uh, the story was really good. All the updates so far have been free, which is amazing. And the characters feel awesome and unique every single character feels like a lot of time energy and effort was put into creating them now there are some improvements i'd love to make and i've talked about that in past videos but for now i'm excited to have some more end game content in the game we're going to watch through this trailer get my reaction i'm going to talk about it a little bit more afterwards but make sure you hit that like button comment down below are you coming back for the omega level threat are you coming back for war for wakanda or is it too little too late for Avengers for you? Anyway, also hit that subscribe button. It helps me out tremendously. We are nearing 1,000 subscribers, which is absolutely huge. Please help me hit that goal. I appreciate everyone who's helped me kind of on the road to that so far. So thank you guys so much. But let's just jump into it and watch the trailer. Tachyon readings are off the charts. It's only getting worse. Team-based endgame content, top tier difficulty, high-end gear. So I've been waiting for. Make sure your builds are ready. Showing off a lot of finishers, huh? High-level heroes only. Now this is a fight I've been really, really excited for. The Super Adaptoid. Welcome home July 27th. Awesome. All right, so let's talk about it. Um, again, a lot of the content we've seen in that, we've already been through, right? Now it's just gonna be playing through it at a higher level. The Super Adaptoid fight is great addition. The more bosses they have in this game, the better. So now we've seen Maestro, we've seen the Scientist Supreme, we're seeing the Super Adaptoid. We're going to see more bosses once War for Wakanda hits. And I feel like that's going to give the game depth that it's been sorely lacking. Not only that, but once War for Wakanda hits next month, we're also going to see new environments, new enemies, as well as the Black Panther character. So in all this, it's not... This one update is not enough to bring everyone back, in my opinion. But it's perfect teaser. It's a perfect kind of thing to hold you over while we're waiting for the War for Wakanda to hit. And I'm very excited about that. What characters are you guys going to be playing as to take on this endgame content? I've really been enjoying Kate Bishop lately. I know Thor is a, a huge... Uh, DPS character that a lot of folks will use and they also announced confirmed next week with the update that you can play as any character regardless of who your teammates are playing as so you could have four Thors you could have four Captain Americas and I feel like that's not the best for team synergy but it'll be a lot of fun to mess around with that as well especially if you're in a group with a buddy and you're both trying to level the same character so that's huge there's some other quality of life updates hitting next week as well. So let me know your thoughts down below. Hit me up on Twitter or Twitch because I'll be playing these content, this content live next week once it does drop and you'll see more videos on this channel. My name is Joe Parites. I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll catch you all later. And after that trailer, of course, we get another drop of information for Avengers. On Twitter, you can see this here. 
Play Marvel's Avengers at no cost during the all-access weekend from July 29th to August 1st on PS4, PS5, Steam, and Stadia. The base game, along with post-launch content, will be available, including all eight heroes. Time to jump into the Quinjet. This is exciting news, because I think, as I've been saying, now is the best time to get back into Avengers to get ready for War for Wakanda. We're getting a lot of information on that. And having a free weekend to let people know what they're missing out on and see that the game is not what you might have thought about it at first. The game is a lot better than it was at launch, and it's a lot better than I think a lot of people give it credit for. In a weekend, you'll be able to play through pretty much the whole base campaign if you want to, to get a feel for a bunch of different characters, see how you like the story, and see if then War for Wakanda is going to be worth it. Anyway, I just wanted to add that to the end of the video. Thank you as always, and I'll catch you later.